Hi, it just dawned on me that some of you have never seen the finished product of our house here at this Fuller apartment. And we are going to be moving next week on April 3rd, so we're kind of excited about that because the space is a little small. It's been good for the time we've been here, but 500 square feet is kind of small, so I thought I'd give you all one last tour of where we first lived when we were here at Southern Baptist Theological Seminary. So here, right here is our front door where you come in. Some of you may remember this from the first video before our house was all decorated. That right there is a coat closet. And when you walk in the door, here I'll pretend like I'm walking in the door. You walk in the door, and this is what you would see. I don't know exactly what I call it. I call it the living room, Matt's office, and the dining room. All in one. It's kind of like a printer. One of those all in one printers. So right over here, Matt's favorite thing, all his books. He loves his books. So he can't wait to get more and more and more, he says. And then that's a closet right there. Just kind of holds odds and ends. And then over here you can see our dining area with our diplomas on the wall. Those cost a lot of money up there, so we thought we'd hang them up. And then we have one window there with curtains I made. Then over here is Matt's desk. He likes this corner desk here. And you can see um, he has a little goal card right here. It's a whiteboard. He writes down what he needs to get done for the week. And his printer and his paper and some pictures. And another window. And another window and an air conditioner that was wonderful during the summer and we have a futon which is nice and a coffee table and yes that is a dinosaur on the coffee table kind of a strange thing i don't know i guess i describe the style right now as eclectic i don't know we have weird things out so there's a dinosaur that's matt's uncle made that for him when he was i don't know pretty young and then up here, I really like this. This is our wall of pictures. has lots of people up here, all black and white. I try to do black and white and yellow in this room. And I would like to think of this as our prayer wall. So if you're up here, you get prayed for. So we have some different people up here. I guess we pray for ourselves too, because we're up here too. It's kind of strange. But we have relatives, friends, church members. So that really helps us to remember all of you guys back at home and to pray for you. Then over here is a kitchen. It's pretty small. Here is our microwave on a cart with all my pots and pans. Some pictures I took from California, the flowers. And here's our refrigerator and freezer. And there's a little bit of storage for some small appliances up there. Then over here is the actual kitchen. We have three cabinets. Yep, that's three cabinets. And then we have a sink. Yep, it's a single sink, but you make it work. Here, I'll show you real quick how I make it work. I get this cutting board. Sorry, it's kind of noisy. So I put a cutting board there and I whoosh on this side and then I put this little thing up here and I put the dishes there and they dry. It works. It's not the greatest thing, but it works. Up here is a little magnet board I made for my recipes. So the last thing I made was classic coleslaw. And, of course, we have to have our blender, this is everything in life, our toaster, our utensils hanging up. Matt loves tea, so we always have the teapot out. And our little tiny stove, it's so cute and tiny. See so if you can see the inside. There it is, one little rack. But it works. And then, just so you can kind of see what we have for cabinet space, this is where I keep all my dishes. Two cabinets for all my dishes. And then the cabinet next door, that keeps all my food. So you can see we really don't store a lot of food. Kind of by week from week. And I think that's pretty much the kitchen. Here I'll back up and give you guys a pan of it. Mm, there's some drawers too. That's nice. Mm, up around. That's the door that goes to our bedroom. Refrigerator again. Microwave. And then you can see that's our front door right there. I'm going to pan back around so you can see our bedroom. Alright, here's a view going in. You can see our bed. I made those quilt blocks hanging above it to match the bed. And as you're walking in, I, we have two windows, which is nice. Some curtains up on there. And this is kind of my little command center here for sewing, computer work, writing letters, kind of whatever. I made these little bulletin board up here. If you guys send cards, they end up up here. Or if students make me things, they end up up here. 
So you might see some cards that you might have sent me. And let's see. Oh yes, necessary scale. I don't like the scale. He is evil. The necessary evil in life. All right. And my favorite thing of all, my fish. I don't think you'll be able to see him. Let me see. Sidon. Yes, his name is Sidon. He has a Greek name because Matt was learning Greek when we got him. So there's Sidon. I don't think you can probably see him very well, but he's a cool fish. Only pet we're allowed to have. So there's another view of our room with the bed. Yep, and that's our closet over there, that door. And there's the door we came in. I'm going to go back around this door right here. And it goes to the bathroom. So the bathroom's in our bedroom. And it's kind of small, but it works. Oh, there I am. Hi. You can see me in the mirror. And there's where the shower is. That's our sink. Checkered. Floor, kind of cool. Old and cool. Black and white tile. Toilet. Yes, it is a toilet that you would see not in a normal home. It looks like a... Something you'd see like maybe in the mall bathroom, but hey, it works. And then we have one little window there. So there it is. And then there's my starfish up there that Selena and Autry Greg, Greg gave me. I don't know when we watched Autry one time. So I put him up there. I thought that looked pretty cool. Remind us of the beach. And I think that is pretty much the end of the tour. So thank you guys for watching and We've enjoyed being here, but we're looking forward to moving. So we're in Fuller Apartments right now. We're going to be moving to the Springdale Apartments, which is like two minutes away, still on campus. But that one has two bedrooms plus a little den and a living room, a bigger kitchen, a hallway. That would be nice to have a hallway. And a dining room and a porch for outside and two sliding glass doors. So I'll have to send a video or post a video of that one. So one last pan quickly of the house and then I will call this a video. I guess a video. So hopefully you enjoyed this little tour of our tiny little home. It's worked for us, but we're ready to move on to something a little bigger. There it is. Our prayer wall. Our living room, office, and dining room. Bye!